ראשונות רבות מספור דיברנו, וזה את זה כמעט בכלל שלא הכרנו, ורק מקום אחד רצינו ואהבנו, ומקומות רבים מאוד עזרנו. We mark 75 years since the closing of the detention camps for the Jewish Holocaust survivors in Cyprus. The gathering of this year carries a profound meaning as it is the first such occasion after the inconceivable terrorist attack of October 7, which we condemned in the strongest possible terms. These camps, 12 in total, we are situated across Cyprus, operating between 1946 to 1949. Following the end of the Second World War and prior to the creation of the State of Israel, approximately 53,000 Jews went through Cyprus and the camps of Karaulos, north of Famagusta, Begelia, and Xilodimbu. The place that we stand here today, the former British military hospital known as BMH, was the birthplace of many of the children of the Holocaust survivors who were in turn in the then colonized Cyprus and moved to their new homeland. 2,253 of them were born in Cyprus during the internment period. Even after so many years, this single fact still stands as a testament that hope can still shine even in the darkest of times. This is why this place where we are gathered is an inseparable part of the histories of both Cyprus and Israel. In 2016, fulfilling a long-standing dream of one of those children, Mrs. Zehavid Blumenfeld, we erected a monument dedicated to these children of Holocaust survivors. I'm humbled by the fact that Zehavid is with us today. I'm also honored that Professor Shoham is also here today. She too calls Cyprus her birthplace. Dear yeah, friends, I wanted to attend this event personally because uh, today we honor the resilience of the human spirit, the accounting of human dignity, as well as the compassion and solidarity of fellow human beings. This place it's not just a piece of land of demolished, soulless buildings. This place and the detention camps in other areas of Cyprus are monuments of the human spirits, monuments of hope. This place reminds us of the 53,000 souls who escaped the horrors of Holocaust only to be interned behind bastard wires in colonized Cyprus. This place reminds us that despite the hardship, they were determined and filled with hope after so much darkness. This place also reminds us of the generosity of Cypriots who worked in the military camps and lived in the surrounding villages. They identified with the Jewish refugee suffering and provided support by way of smuggled food, clothing and other items, demonstrating acts of kindness, compassion, and solidarity. They even arrange illicit escapes and countless others whose birthplace is Cyprus, the hope of new beginnings, particularly during these very challenging times. Thank you very much.